Secret number one, David, begin with the end in mind. What do we mean by this? You've got to be a big thinker and a bit of a visionary and start here about what your ultimate outcome is, right? Which to us is building a saleable asset and figuring out what your exit strategy is, right? I mean, the whole thing about team building is leverage. Talk a little bit about leverage, David, and what we mean by you can only do so much by yourself. And if you do a team right, you are going to not only have a saleable asset, which is this whole begin with the end in mind, you're going to have a better experience right now and be more profitable. Yeah, Jan, the, uh, the, the word leverage is this mysterious word. Ultimately, what it means is the simplest way I can put leverage is um, imagine you're on a treadmill, right? Um, the tread and you get on and you slowly start going and then you run. Or imagine that you get on a treadmill that's already spinning like this and you jump on and run. That's what leverage is. Leverage is taking you from this to this and it's allowing you to leverage all of your assets, all of your resources, and then you're that much more productive. I mean, it's, it's entirely the 80-20 rule, right? right? We want to focus on the 20%, not the 80% of our business. So we have a couple questions for you to take if you're taking notes. This is the this is the homework part of secret number one. When was the last time you did a thorough assessment of your real estate business? And if you have done it, did you actually consider your long term goals? Like what is your ultimate outcome? Do you have an exit strategy? And by exit strategy, we're talking about do you want to sell your business? Do you want to find a replacement and train them? Are you still going to be involved in your team down the road? You know, do you are you always going to be in your team? Those are the questions to think about first. So, Jan, how do you know if you have a saleable asset? I mean, are your core systems in place? These are the things that we coach incessantly, having the fundamentals in place. And by those fundamentals, we really mean how you work with sellers and how you work with buyers. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But let's talk about the next thing that is critical for a saleable asset. And it is your business platform. And I call it your solution. It is not just a CRM. It is the thing that you have, and it's generally right. a software system with all your people in it, your database, your sales history. That, to me, is the key piece of value that you have. And then, and then of course, there's the fundamental business metrics like business plan, P&L, statements, budgets, uh, ROI, return on investment. And, and for your marketing, are you getting your money back? And also, do you know your market? Are you an expert in your market? Exactly. And the, and the last piece to a saleable asset is, do you have a duplicatable lead generation, nurture and conversion system that can work without you? If you want to train a replacement or actually retire, or have an exit strategy, it can't be all about you. The whole purpose right. of team building is to show others how to do it, get somebody to step in to take over for you. And you still can either get residual income or outright sell your business. And Jan, in coaching, um, branding it supports all of this, doesn't it? When you create your brand, what your brand is about, it supports all of these fundamentals, doesn't it really? Absolutely. Absolutely.